We begin with that FBI investigation now being launched after an unarmed teenager was shot in a St. Louis street. So many questions about how it happened and what led up to that moment. Overnight, we saw the images anger spiraling into violence, some smashing windows and breaking into stores. So many people taking off with what they could grab inside. And that tension in clear view tonight, this image from St. Louis late today, protesters face to face with police in riot gear. ABC Steve Osinsami on the 18 year old who was supposed to begin college today, what he was accused of, and the mayor tonight who says if the officer did something wrong, he wants accountability. No justice, no peace. Look closely, this was the peaceful protest outside the Ferguson, Missouri Police Department today. Close to 500 demonstrators nearly spitting in the eyes of police dressed in riot gear, demanding authorities charge one of their own with the murder of 18 year old Michael Brown. They're killing our young people. And it's gotta stop. And this was the chaos that put the city on the map Sunday night. Teams of thieves using the protest as an excuse to steal jeans, shoes, and expensive tire rims. We could no longer just stand on West Force and, and watch the looting and the destruction of property that was happening. Details surrounding the shooting that sparked this fire in great debate, and the FBI is now running its own review. Neighbors believe the 18-year-old was accused of stealing cigars from this quick trip Saturday afternoon and say police were called. We're told that's why they burned the store to the ground. Around the block, Brown was walking with a friend back to his grandmother's house when the friend says the unidentified police officer rolled up. And when he pulled up, these were his exact words. He said, get the F on the sidewalk. Another witness recorded what she could on her cell phone and had to turn that over to police. I saw him turn around with his arms up in the air and they shot him in his face and chest and he went down. But police say at least one of the men physically assaulted the officer, pushing him back into his car and going for his gun. It was an, a physical altercation within the police car between the subject and the police officer at the time that extended eventually out into the street. This is one of our officers. If he did something wrong, obviously I want accountability. Brown's mother beyond devastated, but hoping for peace in the city this evening. I just wish I could have been there to help him. The owner of this beauty shop and the wireless store next door say they understand a young man was killed, but it led to all of this and they worry this could happen again tonight.